hello guys welcome back to my channel this is commander hall hopefully you guys is having a great day in this video guys i have a special treat for you guys because i have a special assignment that i'm doing right now guys so uh sit back relax and let's get right into it guys i don't know if you guys can tell or not but i am at a storage facility um i feel bad for the owners of this facility because they have lost so many customers recently it's crazy i'm sure they have lost a lot of money a lot of insurance claims guys this place has been getting broken into every day for a while now every day um my girl actually used to rent um a, a unit here and she recently moved because she was afraid that her unit was going to get broken into it actually almost was broken into um you can see that someone had tampered with the uh, with the unit to try to get inside so she was like nope they ain't getting my stuff so she actually relocated herself but um guys these people have been getting hit a lot a lot um that's why i'm here you know um they don't want us to just simply scare the bad guys away they want these guys going to jail and that's why we're here for guys um so um you guys know i have a great relationship with my local pd um and a lot of people Sometimes people come in on the videos and they're always talking about what we can and what we can't do. Guys, yes, we can detain people, guys. We can do that. You know, um, I wouldn't be here right now, especially on this job site, if I couldn't. You know, um, but in order to be able to do it, obviously, you know, I would have to witness it. You know, I have to witness someone coming in and, you know, breaking into one of the units to be able to do it. And that's what they want, guys, because if we keep chasing them off, they just going to keep coming back. You know, or they're going to find another facility to go to, you know, so we want to get these guys locked up where they belong, you know, so um, that's why we're here. So, guys, uh, the first thing I did when I first arrived is something that you should do. And I made a video about that before. It's very important to make sure you do a good assessment of the facility. So I walked around this entire property. Um, I looked at the fencing around the property to look for any flaws or any uh, evidence that someone was tampering. Uh, with the fence and believe it or not guys I was actually able to find a lot of ways for people to get in here a lot of ways from different directions guys uh, from different directions um, and the crazy thing is this facility um, you would think they would have chicken wire around the whole facility but they don't which is weird um, but yes I checked the whole outer edge of the entire facility and uh, I found some areas where the chicken wire was tampered with, the fencing was tampered with. Um, and then, like I said, there's some areas that don't have any chicken wire at all. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, whoever built this facility with the fencing and everything, they did a horrible job because this place is so easy to get in, guys. But the most important thing, because believe it or not, these little units like this isn't the ones that's getting broken into. It's actually the air control unit, which is this building right here. Um, so after I walked the entire perimeter and checked everything out, I went inside this. I went up the stairs. You know, I checked everything, uh, made sure the coast was clear on the inside to make sure no one was inside before I get started. Uh, once I verified that, then I made my way back out. I positioned the vehicle a way that um, if anyone was to try to go in, they're going to have to go through me first. Um, so, like I said, guys, um, this is a flawed, very flawed um, storage facility. Um, so, but like I said, where I have my vehicle position, they will have to come through me to get in. You know, so um, it's multiple entry points, but they all right here in the front of the facility right here. So, like I said, they will have to go through me to get inside, and that's not happening. So. Um, that's that guys believe it or not guys it was two individuals who maybe about 30 minutes ago they was right in this area where i'm walking to now um it was two individuals on bikes and i would have never thought nothing of it if they would have just rode their bikes by but the fact that they rode their bikes they got off the bikes and they started making their way towards the fencing that was a red flag um so me being me um I saw the individuals kind of looking and as you can see you have my patrol car right there so they thought twice before proceeding on what they was probably going to do um i don't have full evidence but it was just kind of strange that you you rolled by slowly on your bike you stopped right here and you walked towards the fencing so 
Uh, I think those was two. It could be more, but I think those was two of the individuals. Um, they probably won't be back tonight. <laughs> the fact that they see me out here, but that don't mean they won't try to strike tomorrow or the next day or the next day. But we're going to be here for a while, guys. Um, and like I tell you guys, sometimes we have to educate the client on things because sometimes and I understand, you know, it's all about the money. But sometimes these clients, um, they want to hire us for just a couple weeks and that could work you know but i can't guarantee that we're going to clean this place up in a couple weeks you know because just like we are watching and protecting over people and buildings properties whatever the case may be trust me and believe the bad guys is watching us just like we're watching them so as soon as they know that no one is here anymore that's when they're going to start striking again recommendation to the client was hey even if you cut us down you know fewer hours or maybe fewer days during the week it's very important to have security out here because you want to gain clients you want to be able to uh, get new customers people can trust that their product their merchandise whatever um, isn't going to be stolen having security on the premises outside of cameras uh, is going to give them that more uh, they're gonna feel more comfortable more safe um, because believe it or not the cameras may catch you <laughs> on the footage but it's nothing like having someone in person so um, that's pretty much it for this video guys I just want to take you along with me um, I have my body cam rolling so maybe uh, next time if some guys come I may be able to get some footage of that but I just want to just give you guys a quick rundown of this facility um, without sharing a name or location or whatever but uh yeah that's my assignment and uh we're gonna be here for the next two to three weeks maybe longer we'll see how that goes guys so that's it for this one guys so uh as always please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video